Hi, my name is Mohsen. This is Fundamental Art Christianity. We are still in chapter 6 and I'm so excited because soon coronavirus will be just a name and it goes to the trash. It goes to the history of diseases that we vanquished like other diseases. And I'm going to start another chapter. So be with me today when I go through today person. I went back again to Middle Ages. John of Damascus. Don't make mistake this person with Paul. Paul was going to Damascus and it happened all this to him. But John of Damascus was living 675 to 753 and was in a Muslim country. He named Patron of pharmacists. So if you work in a pharmacy today or maybe you lose your job because of COVID-19, I have to admit that I wish you don't work again if you lost your job. I wish you don't work again in the pharmacy. But he was patron Patron of pharmacists. I start with two quotes from him. I do not worship things or matters, I worship the God of matters. See? When you want to follow examples, man examples, you say, that pastor is example, that pastor is example, that's bullshit. I don't worship things, I just follow Jesus Christ's step. The Spirit leads me. I don't, if you told me that God wants something good for me, I don't worship that something. I worship God himself. I bow down to God himself, only God. Understand that. If you don't understand, is your problem. Second quote is, gluttony should be destroyed by self-control and pride by not judging or despising anyone in the manner of the boastful Pharisee. If you eating so much, you can destroy that by self-control, that you don't have binge eating. If you judge other people and they say, oh, I'm here, you are there, there is a distance between us, I understand, you don't understand, here is very good, you are in court situation, I mean right, you are wrong, and all those bullshit. The manner of the boastful Pharisees. I'm right, I give my tithe, I worship God, and I have famous people, my guests, and all that. That is fancy. That is prideful. And again, let's go to his story. He succeeded his father as one of the Muslim caliph's tax officials. And soon after, 730, John became a monk at Marsala. 
When I was reading his story, uh, I was told you before I tried to compare my life to that person and learn something. I have a lot of experience with tax collector. Somebody told that, ah, oh, I'm working, I pay tax. Why you social such and such doesn't work and I pay tax. I'm not happy she doesn't pay tax and all that bullshit. I hope you don't work again so you don't need to pay tax. Don't worry about tax. Okay. Let's go forward. He wrote works expounding the Christian faith and composed him which are still used both liturgically in Eastern Christian practice as well as in Western Lutheranism and Eastern. At that time, at Middle Age, he wrote works that still some church used those books, used those hymns that he wrote. Especially today that we are closing to the fast approaching the Easter, he wrote some hymn that Western Lutheranism and Easter they use. So he had a legacy. John was born in the third quarter of the seventh century. Eight. If you divide the seventh century in three half, he was born in the last one. He was born in a Damascus Christian family known as Mansur. So why Mansur? Because Mansur was his grandfather who had been responsible for the taxes and they mentioned him as the one high ranking official involved in the surrender the city to Muslims. It looked like taxing uh, was in their family. It, it looked like it's it was in their blood getting taxed. They, all, they were in the tax business, father, son, and go on. Huh? Everybody in the family inheritance the tax official things to the next generation. And also, the grandfather was in responsible for surrendering the city to the Muslims. He received Quran, which he criticized harshly. One account identifies under teaching of his tutor who had been kidnapped by Arabs from his home and purchased by John Father with a great price. He advanced in music and theology. So He was right to criticize Quran because if you see, if you see some preachers, if you see some Christians, they use bad word and they don't know how to talk and I pray that God 
teach them how to talk as because it's long period of false teaching and deceiving that's because of that they haven't changed their old behavior they are continuing the deceiving life to mind it now there is a difference between inside and outside that's what I'm talking about they are continuing practicing that that's why if you see teachers and pastors in the church like that that's because of that uh, yeah he was born in that family that called Mansur and he had a teacher and a teacher that that teacher that was teaching him was kidnapped by Arab from his home and his father gave a great price to purchase that a slave because he was kidnapped and getting slave and his father purchased him to teach his son because he had a great knowledge so he advanced in music and theology visitors to an orthodox church are confronted with many unfamiliar elements of worship for example standing throughout the service and worshiping icons in orthodox church we see i guess still today we see element of wrong worship not orthodox church in any church you can see that they sing the song but they don't worship god they just want to sing and they want get money but because they want to have their position not for use of God they fundraise because they want to keep their position not for the glory of God in 730 Leo commended the destruction of all religious likeness you see because it was a Muslim country and I come from Muslim country uh, that's why we still have some conflict with Muslim because I come from Muslim country and I know about them so much because in Islam creating an image of God or creating an image of the Prophet or Imam is against the Sharia is against the Islam so it came to the church and Leo commanded the destruction of all religious likeness so they told that if you paint a picture of God as blasphemy but John challenged this in three works he explained since unseen God came down to earth and became a man became a human being so it's not blasphemy to paint a picture of God or any image that represents God because God himself became visible unseen God became visible so it's not when God himself 
did something and it's right. So we can do that. So John challenged those policies. But, 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 as the same as always, then someone is speaking the truth, the false teacher attacked him or her. Tradition says that his fellow monks grumbled that such elegant writing was a distraction and prideful. So John sometimes sent to sell basket humbly in the street where he had once been among the elites. He was an elite. Because, you know, at least at that time, someone who is in tax business at high position. So he was in a high position, but he left it and he went to monk. And he lived in there. But we have, because he was writing, and they colleagues or something, or they fellow monks, someone who was superior to him, they didn't stand beside him, they were against him. And they taught him, you are prideful. Your writing is distraction. So they sent him to the street and sent baskets. Humbly. Because imagine the Matthew, the tax collector, he was on the street. Everybody respect him. And then when he if imagine if he was not in that situation anymore. He was not the tax collector anymore. And then Nobody respect him because of that position. And he's supposed to write books. And everybody say, no, because you are prideful, go to the street and sell basket. So when you want to sell something on the street, it is not good position. Because you are begging others to buy from you. You see the children on this street of... I, I know there are some uh, children in Iran, in my country, and they want to sell flowers, chocolate or something. They beg, please buy only one, at least one, one. And that's humiliating. And because they thought he is prideful, they sent him to they sent him to the street and sell those baskets so he can be humble. John died in 749 as a reverend father and sometimes called the last of church father.
He met in Catholic Church. Accept him as the church father, doctor, father, father, doctor, doctor, father, whatever. Uh, doctor of the church. But you see, every single one of person that I introduced to you, they had a lot of struggle with Pharisees, with fellow church members their fellow leaders of the church. They had to fight to say something. They were speaking the truth of God. But even the church leaders was against them. Peace of God be with you all.